as is the case with IRCC updates and news, there is usually more confusion than it provides answers to. The recent update about postgraduate work permit is no different. Uh, so let me try and, and articulate most of the uh, commonly quest asked questions and, and try to give you an answer for that. First of all, remember the date of 1st of November. This is going to be the, the, the deciding factor. So if you are currently uh, applying for a postgraduate work permit, it means you've already completed your studies, you're inside Canada, you will be making an application for postgraduate work permit regardless the only change if for you is that you will now need language test results in order to make an application for postgraduate work permit so there are no changes for you please go ahead and do it uh, no issues here nothing to be worried about this does not apply to you now second one is the study permit applications if you are already in Canada studying okay no matter when you will complete your study or if you have already submitted your study permit application or if you're going to be making an application for a study permit before the 1st of November okay then you please keep in mind that the only change that impacts you is that you will now need language test results when you will be submitting your postgraduate work permit you are still eligible for postgraduate work permit there is no change there however the biggest change is coming for those people who will be making an application after the 1st of November for their study permit only for study permit okay if you are making an application for study permit before the 1st of November then of course there is no issues for you you will get your work permit as normal but if you're making an application for study permit after the 1st of November then of course when you will apply for your postgraduate work permit if you're eligible then you will need your language test results of course the second thing is that your field of education must match with one of the 966 occupations that have been listed by IRCC that is the biggest requirement only if you meet this requirement will you be eligible there is no change to the master's degree or PhD they will still be eligible there is absolutely nothing for them to do except that they will now need the language test results but for everybody else if you are making an application I'm reiterating if you are making a study permit application after the 1st of November then in your case you will now need of course the language test results as you would need it but you would your your study your, your program of study must match with one of the 966 that has been listed in order for you to be eligible for a postgraduate work permit after you complete your study what about if you are inside Canada and if you are extending your study well if you are continuing your study the same program that you had already applied for then you should not have any issue at least in my opinion because that has not been answered by IRCC but if you are one of those guys who is doing a one plus one program then for you guys IRCC has not given any clarity or direction all they have said is if you're making an application after the 1st of November then the new rules apply to you so if I was you I would be very careful that if I'm going to make an application for study permit after the 1st of November that I try and find a program which is listed from one of these 966 on the IRCC website and now for the language test results for IELTS you need to complete the general training for CELPIP you need to complete general and for PT you need to do PT core uh, TEF and TCF you already know about that and if you're doing a university program then you will need to have CLB level 7 if you are doing a college level program diploma certificate then you will need CLB level 5 minimum requirement in order to apply for postgraduate work permits these language test requirements come into effect from 1st of November if you're making an application for postgraduate work permit so if you apply for your postgraduate work permit before 1st of November you can do it without the English test results there you go that's the summary I hope this one clarifies